Hello everybody, it's Cal Kirky here. Um, we've got our race uh, today. We've got a race from Glen Afton to Auckland, a distance of uh, 82 kilometres. And uh, this is going to form uh, the first of a three race series that we're running for the Western Union uh, and uh, the uh, pigeon races that are on the north shore of uh, Auckland. Uh, the races we have today are uh, the man, uh, trainer there is Richard Couchman, flying for Don Campbell, uh, Blackpink, um, trained by Louis Morales, and he's flying for Carl Coker myself. Um, he's, Louis very kindly uh, lent me a bird since I'm out of area when it comes to the uh, Western Union flyers. Uh, in day, trained by Gerald Avendano. Uh, position 4 we have Flap, trained by Roger Smith, uh, and uh, position 5 Michaela, trained by Carlo Watson, and uh, position 6 Yazuka, unfortunately we um, didn't get a, a, a clean data stream from that uh, ring, so there's been a technical scratching for Yazuka. Uh, in the seventh position there we have Lou Morales' bird Aerosmith and uh, rounding out the races today we have Mr Energy uh, trained by Theo Van Leer. Now today's race is a little different to some of the ones we've had recently in that uh, we are having the birds released individually. Uh, this means that uh, it is a true sense of how well the birds actually will home by themselves rather than uh, homing as a flock which is what they will naturally do anyway um, and the way this has been achieved is um, the GPS data stream uh, has had uh, all the time markers reset uh, once the birds cross a particular line of latitude and so that line of latitude is going to be uh, presented on the race video today and as soon as the bird has actually crossed that uh, line then the time marker gets reset so it's uh, as though the birds are actually flying together. So we get a true indication of how well the birds are actually homing from that point on um, and uh, the uh, race as I say is from Glen Afton so we've got a video here of Glen Afton itself as you can see the weather conditions there not completely ideal as the birds need to get a sun sighting in the first 20 to 30 minutes of their flight just to ensure that they uh, are in the right area they rely very heavily on the uh, color palette they can see of the sky uh, the bird's eye structure is quite a bit different from uh, that of a human in that uh, it has uh, four cones in it as opposed to a human's three so the uh, the usual I think it's um, green blue and red for the human is augmented in a pigeon by having a fourth uh, cone there so they can see into the infrared and ultraviolet so the sky looks quite different to them and that's how they can see the uh, um, the way the actual um, uh, the waves of light as they strike the atmosphere actually um, see how they actually form so they can see north and south and depth of color there as well also very reliant uh, for their east-west positioning on the sun so that's why the uh, sun position is critical for them in the first 20 to 30 minutes of the flight um, we elected to carry on with the flight here because we were getting uh, sun sightings in the appropriate time uh, and we've had good returns from all birds. The only problem we've had, as I said before, was with Yazuka and the data stream from that bird. So, uh, the race itself, we'll just get into that one. Um, there's the line there. Uh, so that forms the start line for the birds. As you can see, um, the bird in black there on the far right there is Michaela. Uh, Michaela went quite a bit further east before crossing the line. And uh, the, uh, the time itself, uh, or the line itself rather, is uh, half a kilometre north of Glen Afton. Um, and uh, as uh, those of you who've watched the videos before, the finish line falls half a kilometre short of the front marker uh, for the race itself. Uh, so looking across the line on the far left there uh, in the uh, rusty red colour is uh, Aerosmith and uh, black pink is in yellow 
and to the left of that we've got uh, flat Mr. Energy in day all in a group, uh, one tucked in behind there which I'm not actually sure who that is, I think that is the man uh, trained by Richard Couchman. So here we go, the uh, race is now underway. Um, as you can see the birds have uh, started off reasonably cleanly. Um, Michaela has continued her track uh, out to the uh, east of the other birds. Uh, Inde is also heading off towards the east. Uh, Inde's uh, home loft is uh, on the north shore and uh, certainly falls further east than the, uh, the remainders there as well. Uh, we've got the man and flap um, taking very similar lines. Uh, and on the left hand side we see that Aerosmith is just uh, still orientating with the, uh, the slightly difficult conditions the, bird heads, uh, the birds had to fly in today um, as they get their navigation sorted before they can head um, towards the uh, duller colour palette sky that they're all used to living in. Um, a lot of these birds have flown this route before so they'll be relying very heavily on uh, their own memory for which way they should actually be travelling to get towards their home loft. So Mr Energy has now taken up, uh, looks like he's pretty much in the lead actually but he's um, taken up the most uh, westerly position at the moment. Uh, Aerosmith is underway now um, and to the left there we have the man in yellow and uh, flap in the light green, um, those two making a pairing of them, and uh, black pink is slowly making its way out towards the east of the track. That uh, river you see coming up top of screen is the Waikato River, um, and they'll be crossing that shortly, um, and then we have uh, State Highway 1, uh, the main link to the south between Auckland and Hamilton on the right hand side. Uh, clearly Inde is quite used to uh, using that particular line feature which of course they do use um, if they're familiar with the, the, uh, the route that they're flying. So uh, Aerosmith is still orientating but is underway um, and heading home now. Flap and the man, it looks like Flap is uh, making the best of it there between those two and uh, Blackpink and Aerosmith both from the same loft um, so we can expect to see Aerosmith um, taking a slightly more easterly track than where it currently is at the moment. Mr Energy's loft is probably one of the ones that's sitting most to the um, west there. Just as you look top of screen Manukau Harbour um, is just coming into view. We've got uh, Clark's Beach uh, is forming that uh, little inlet on the uh, south side of the Manukau Harbour and if you follow that inlet down um, that's down towards Glenbrook Steel Mill. Um, so this is a quick race for us today, 82 kilometres is a, a flat out sprint for these birds. They can, um, well you can have birds actually get home on the day from Invercargill to Auckland which is a distance of over 1200 kilometres. Uh, you can just start to see the finish line coming into view now and uh, we have got uh, Mr Energy is making very good progress up there but it's got some fairly high terrain to pass over as is Flap and the Man. Um, if we take a little bit of a look out towards the east uh, we can see Inde and we can see uh, Black Pink, and there's Michaela who I've uh, forgotten about there for a moment. Uh, Michaela has gone well to the east uh, but is now getting very good ground towards uh, home. So there is Michaela, there's the rest of the birds there. Um, so they feels quite spread out at the moment. Um, that white line that you can see coming up is the boundary between the Waikato and Auckland areas. Um, so the birds are coming up uh, towards um, the Glenbrook Steel Mill area at the moment. And here there we have Michaela uh, 
that has just made its way over towards, or made her way over towards uh, Huntley before taking up a more northerly course there. So just on the northern, oh, in the uh, top of frame at the moment, um, you can see the um, harbour there for Manukau and uh, looking just uh, top of frame centre is the Cornwallis Peninsula which is uh, a point that a lot of the birds seem to use as a, uh, a crossing over point as far as the water goes. So the flaps, flap has been the first bird to uh, get across the boundary there between uh, Waikato and Auckland and uh, over here we've got the two uh, birds for um, North Shore so that is uh, Inde, Blackpink and Michaela is uh, coming up there as well Michaela is making good ground trying to keep up with the rest of them Inde just coming up to Pukekohe and uh, we've got uh, three birds there all in contention at the moment so Mr Energy, Flap and the Man all making good ground uh, up towards South Head uh, you see the Waitakere Ranges there just uh, on the finish line so that finish line as I say falls half a kilometre short of the uh, front marking loft which is Lou Morales's loft So the birds certainly haven't taken uh, exactly the same line, um, so those that are orientated or their lofts are orientated more towards the uh, west uh, definitely have a preference in crossing over between South Head and uh, Cornwallis. Uh, Cornwallis is a little bit more visible now, just coming into uh, top of frame, just have another look around there, take a look around and see what uh, Inde is doing. Inde is making good ground as is Blackpink. Blackpink's gone a long way to the east um, but uh, making his way over the uh, uh, Drury area there at the moment and uh, taking a look down having a look at Michaela. Uh, Michaela's crossed the Waikato heading up towards Pukekohe making good solid ground now. Just having a look at that run that uh, Michaela's actually taken and it's gone very well to the east before uh, uh, looping back and coming uh, north as we journey up towards the finish line. So the finish line falls as a, uh, a circle, uh, the central point of that circle being the departure point, Glen Afton. So that uh, is at 82 kilometres and uh, Flap has proven to be a very able contender here, um, certainly making the best of it uh, since the uh, time data stream was reset at the finish line. Aerosmith's just coming up to uh, Clark's Beach at the moment. Mr Energy's uh, moving off towards the uh, uh, east of the track. And uh, just coming up towards South Head is flat. The man is not too far behind. It's going to be fairly close between those two and Mr. Energy by the looks of things. Taking a look over here, we've still got a bit of ground to cover there for Inde. Blackpink is uh, coming up uh, past uh, the built up area there now, starting to make good ground towards home. Michaela's just crossed over Pukekohe and uh, heading north. Uh, just looking up there towards the Firth of Thames. So just crossing over the uh, the water now in the Manukau Heads. Uh, flaps heading towards the beach. We've got uh, the man also making good ground so it's uh, turning into a, a three bird race here at the moment. That finish line is coming up fairly soon. Uh, so they are remarkably close given that they all flew separately. Um, they're not travelling as a flock, they're travelling as individual birds and uh, as I say the time markers were all reset uh, once they crossed that line of latitude which we saw at the beginning of the race.
So it looks like uh, we are getting towards the closing stages of this. Flap is certainly making the best of it. The man is uh, not too far behind and Mr. Energy, that's definitely the three birds that are uh, the ones to watch here. Just taking a look off, uh, look to the east there we have Inday, Black Pink uh, doing well. Looks like Michaela's struggling a little bit um, just with that start where she took quite a long way to the east and there we go just crossing over the line now we have flap very close behind mr energy is second and uh, the man is coming in third uh, we have aerosmith coming in behind that it's going to be close between aerosmith in day uh, for the rest of it so first flap second mr energy third the man and uh, we have aerosmith coming up behind Aerosmith's loft is more over towards Kelston, that is the front marking loft for this race. And so we have two birds here, Inday and Blackpink. Michaela unfortunately is uh, not going to uh, appear in the um, top five birds, top six birds. So uh, flap. Uh, Mr. Energy and the man make up our first, second and third. Looks like Inday might make it into fourth. Inday's doing very well, um, heading right over central Auckland at the moment. Uh, with Aerosmith not too far behind. So coming in fourth, crossing the line now, we've got Inday crossing over just uh, south of the central business district with Auckland and uh, coming up behind in fifth position we have Aerosmith doing very very well indeed. Uh, his loft mate Blackpink is coming in uh, uh, fairly close behind also. There we go, so Aerosmith crosses over, uh, we have uh, Inde in 4th, Aerosmith in 5th, Blackpink is very close behind. Again my thanks to Louis Morales for lending me Blackpink um, since uh, my loft is out of area for this race. Inde is just making her way across the uh, uh, Waitemata Harbour at present and uh, heading up towards their loft. and. Looks like we've got uh, Mr. Energy home at their home loft. Flap is uh, just about home as well. And the man heading up uh, just south of Helensville where they are. Uh, looking back there, just having a wee look where Michaela's got to. Uh, Michaela's still making their way north there. So in fourth position we had um, Aerosmith and then uh, Inde was fifth and Blackpink was sixth. Okay, so uh, the finishing positions there. Uh, first we had a uh, flap across the line and uh, Mr. Energy was uh, second. Um, as you can see, the aggregate, aggregated points there um, are in the uh, order of finish, reverse order of finish. So 10 points for Roger Smith with uh, Flap uh, coming in a very nice first. Second, Mr. Energy, uh, Theo Van Leer uh, with 9 points uh, on the aggregate table. And third, the man, uh, Richard Couchman and Don Campbell with 8 points. In days fourth, uh, Gerald Avendano and seven points Aerosmith, uh, Louis Morales, six points, uh, six uh, Louis Morales and myself at five points and seventh Michaela, um, Carla Weissen there with four points. Uh, as I say unfortunately we had a data stream fault with um, Yazuka, so uh, Yazuka was a scratching from the race. I certainly hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this today. It's uh, been a pleasure to have everybody here and uh, we've got our next race coming up on Monday the 22nd of August uh, and uh, that is uh, going to hopefully be up on YouTube a similar time next week and uh, we hope to see you then. Thanks.